JSU football play by show. I'm your host, Rob J. Jackson State wrapping up the season with two road games. The first here in Houston, Texas, as the Tigers take on the Texas Southern Tigers. Jackson State trying to end a five game losing streak. Texas Southern, meanwhile, trying to end a four game losing streak. A lot of familiarities with these two teams. They both come into this game very similar in the SWAC rankings, almost side by side in almost every category in the conference. Texas Southern is head coached by Darrell Asbury. He, of course, was a former quarterback for Jackson State, also was JSU's offensive coordinator back during the mid-90s. Jackson State is riding a uh, Jackson State rather is riding a five-game losing streak, the most since the mid 2000s when you know who was the coach of the team then. So JSU trying to end that five-game losing streak here in Houston, Texas, at the BBVA Compass Football Stadium. Actually, this is a soccer stadium where a professional soccer team plays here in Houston. For more on today's game, let's check in with Spencer McClinty with Coach. Harold Jackson. All right, thanks, Rob. I'm, again, I'm here with JSU head coach Harold Jackson. Coach, your thoughts on this game against Texas Southern? Today? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we feel good about this game. You know, the guys feel good about the game. I had a good week of practice, so we just got to come out and play our ball game. And same old thing I'm talking about. I told the guys, let's go out and play hard, have fun, and let's go out and win this one. So we need one. We need one because we hadn't won a ball game since September, and that's a long time. And and we got to put that win and taste back in our mouth so everybody feel good about themselves. All right, Coach, talk about um, the third uh, the third down struggles the team has faced. There's been some um, struggles with third down conversions over the last several games. Well, that's been the problem uh, almost all year, you know, and so we just we just work on it. We just don't, I guess we don't execute it, don't get it taken care of, you know, so more we work on it, like the worse we get, you know, that's one of the things that you got to work on almost every day in practice, you know, and so we just got to put a little bit more time at it. And what about uh, the red zone um, issues? I guess sort of in the same vein, um, being able to score points in the red zone? Well, you know, that's the thing, you know, like I told the guys, you know, like I said, in the third down situation, once you get down there, you know, with the third down, because that's when you're going to move the change. And uh, the good thing about it, you're taking your defense off the field along you uh, moving that change. And so we got to do what we have to do, try to get the red zone and all that stuff taken care of. Because if we can move the ball, we get in the end zone, we say in the red zone, we can go score. And talk about what you're gonna, what, what you've said, and what you're gonna say to the players to kind of get them motivated, get them pumped up for this game to get this win today. Well, like I've been telling them all day, I mean, it's all week. You know, we got to go out and play a ball game. I, I one time I want to go out and put all three phases together: offense, defense, and special team. We do that. Don't turn the ball over. Don't beat ourselves. Nobody's gonna do it. What do you expect Texas Southern to do to try and slow down the Jesuit Tigers? Well, they're going to come out fired up, you know, because you got a bunch of coaches from Jackson State, you know, so they're going to be fired up to play against the old former uh, school and all that stuff. So we just got to come out and got be able to take whatever they give us and go out and play our ball game. All right, thanks a lot, Coach, and good luck. Thank you. All right, we'll be back in a moment with the first half highlights. Who you with? We them stars they talking about to shine bright at night. Hey, the white the legs legs to Mississippi 511. You guys ready to watch the Tigers play? MDOT Traffic says it's all clear. Let's go. Check MDOT Traffic before every game on the website, the smartphone app, or just out 511. Wait a minute, you got the tickets? What does it mean to be healthy? To inspire future generations both at work and at home. To find that work can also be play. To find that reaching a goal is not the end, but rather another step along the road. Now's the time to know you have a partner on your journey with the compassion of a cross and the security of a shield that opens doors to a healthier life. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. It's good to be blue. Okay, now try and go to your happy place. Oh no, go to your happy place. Okay, 
going to my happy place. Oh, Riverwalk, my happy place. Hey, sorry, dude. I kind of sat on your pizza. Oh, no. Go to your happy place. Go to your happy place. Mmm, Riverwalk. Now that's my happy place. Riverwalk Casino Hotel, Vicksburg's happy place. Must be 21 to gamble. When you are looking to further your education, there's only one university that towers above the rest, Jackson State University. Jackson State University is one of the leading universities in research, technology, and innovation, graduating more than 1,300 students annually and a consistent growth in revenue. Jackson State University is ranked number one amongst the HBCUs in research and development. Make the right choice, the one choice, one Jackson State University. Changing lives, one student at a time. Prior to Jackson State's game with Texas Southern, JSU players and coaches were quite focused on ending that five-game losing streak. Yeah! We got five, JSU! Yeah! Home in, 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 On a cold, rainy night in Houston, Texas, captains from both teams met at midfield for the coin toss. All right, guys, Jackson State are the visitors. They're going to call the toss, okay? The helmet is heads. And the official is tails. What you going to call, Cap? Tails. What'd he say? Tails. Let's see what we got, man. All right, we got a heads. We agree? Your choice. Want to you want to receive. <laughs> Which way do you want to kick? Uh, this way. All right, you're good where you are then, man. Darcy Williamson would get the game underway with a short kick. Jarvis Young then fields it at the 10 and brought it up to the 24-yard line. On first down, TSU goes with a short pass, and JSU linebacker Arian McCree is there for the stop for the short gain. On second down, Cornelius Henderson broke through the line for the tackle for a two-yard loss. TSU went three and out on its first possession, bringing on the punt team. Jackson State started its first drive at its own 39-yard line. Lamontez Ivy was unable to get his team a first down, and Jay State had to bring in Williamson for the punt. TSU went right at the JSU defense from its own 21-yard line. After a first down run by Jimmy Potipa, Arian McCree yeah. shut down the TSU running game. Javancy Jones then broke up a third down pass, forcing the Texas Tigers to punt for the second straight series. Lamont S. Ivy then began to lead JSU down the field through the TSU defense. JSU used a mixture of runs and passes as they drove inside the TSU 20-yard line. From there, Rob Johnson took it to the TSU 6-yard line. Johnson. 
Jackson State aborted disaster when Ivy fumbled the snap, but Johnson was there to fall on it at the 10. Jay State wasn't able to cash in from inside the 10-yard line and settle on a 19-yard Ryan Deasing field goal for the 3 nothing lead. Jackson State's special teams were special as Andre Lloyd prevented a big kickoff return. TSU will start at its own 30-yard line. TSU's offense found trouble moving the ball against JSU's defense. Antonio Sutton breaks up the pass on second down. TSU was unable to convert on third down as Javancy Jones makes the tackle for no gain. Jackson State forced another three and out, and Jay State would get the ball back with a chance to extend the lead. Ivy and his Tigers marched down the field as Jarius Moore returned to provide a spark for the offense. The second quarter began with Ivy connecting with Jabari Payton for a JSU first down. But the drive stalled at the TSU 18 as Jay State was unable to punch it in to the end zone. Deasing came in to kick his second field goal of the game, this one from 35 yards out to extend JSU's lead to 6-0 with 12 minutes 40 seconds to play in the second quarter. Jackson State's special teams again kept TSU from a big return as Kwame Bowens and Andre Lloyd combined to make the stop at the 15-yard line. The SWAC's top defensive back, Ryan Griffin, cut down TSU's running game on the first down. Texas Southern then tried to go to the air, but Antonio Sutton broke up the play, and TSU was again forced to punt it away. Kennard Brown was back to receive the punt near the 40. He muffed the catch, but was able to fall on it, and JSU would begin at its own 40-yard line. Ivy then took matters into his own hands with a nice first down run. He then tossed a perfect pass to Deshaun McKenzie for a 24-yard pass down to the TSU 30-yard line. The JSU Tigers were plagued with fumbles all night as Ivy and Johnson could not connect on the handoff, but Jackson State was able to maintain possession and TSU forced Jay State into a fourth and short and JSU decided to go for it. However, Ivy's fourth down pass is batted down and Jay State turned it over on down. TSU used its ground game to move the ball on Jackson State as they picked up a first down into JSU territory. But JSU's defense forced TSU into a fourth and short, and they would go for it. Starting at their own 31-yard line, Jackson State began another time-consuming drive before the half. Another JSU fumble was again recovered by the blue and white to keep the drive alive. On third and long, TSU's Jarius Moore applied a vicious late hit on Ivy, resulting in a 15-yard penalty and an ejection for Moore. Jay State did not take advantage of the great field position and had to settle on a 37-yard Ryan Deasing field goal attempt. This time, it was no good, and the score remained Jackson State 6, Texas Southern nothing. Starting in place of Robert Porter, Justin Jemison proved to be a worthy replacement, stopping TSU for a short gain on the pass. TSU's offense was harassed much of the first half as Keontre Anderson combined with Ron Fuller for the sack to end the first half. All right, I'm back here again with JSU head coach Harold Jackson. Coach, your thoughts on the first half? Well, I'll tell you what, you know, uh, we came out this first half, we said we're going to do what we had to do to try to get this ball game. We wa wasn't really pleased with what we done in the uh, red zone. We was, I think it was about three for nine or something like that for the third down situation. Still hadn't even got to where I want to be with that. But we went up, well, we up by three points. But once we get into the red zone, we got to get more than three points. So when we go back out here and just, uh, we get the ball the first half, we got to take the ball down and score because like, we feel like if we can go down and put seven points on the board, we feel like we can win this ball game because, you know, they out there doing their thing and we got to do our thing too. We just got to make sure we don't turn the ball over. All right. Offensively, the uh, the offense looked a little more energized, with a little more spunk. Uh, specifically, Ivy seemed to be quicker and, and uh, more energized. Well, I'll tell you what, he's doing the best he can right now. You know, like I said, we, we missing one or two guys up there protecting for him, you know, but uh, He's, he's running for his life half the time, you know, but I tell you what, he's a strong young man. He's, he's a tough young man, so he have taken a beating this year, and so he's, he's taking a pretty good beating out here this afternoon. Jarius Moore looks good running the ball. Well, I tell you what, I'm just glad to have him back on the field, you know. Like I said, 
He's been missing for two weeks, and uh, we got him back out here, and he's taking the pressure off of Robert Johnson a little bit. So we need that one-two punch. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Good luck in the second half. Thank you. What does it mean to be healthy, to find that work can also be play, to create new traditions while honoring the old, to find that reaching a goal is not the end, but rather another step along the road? Now's the time to know you have a partner on your journey with the compassion of a cross and the security of a shield that opens doors to a healthier life. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. It's good to be blue. When you are looking to further your education, there's only one university that towers above the rest, Jackson State University. Jackson State University is one of the leading universities in research, technology, and innovation, graduating more than 1,300 students annually and a consistent growth in revenue. Jackson State University is ranked number one amongst the HBCUs in research and development. Make the right choice, the one choice, one Jackson State University. Changing lives, one student at a time. Welcome to Mississippi 511. You guys ready to watch the Tigers play? M. Dodd Traffic says it's all clear. Let's go. Check M. Dodd Traffic before every game on the website, the smartphone app, or just out 511. Wait a minute, have you got the tickets? Despite the wet field conditions at the BBVA Compass Field, Jackson State received the ball to open the second half. Alexander Montgomery returned it to the 28 to start the third quarter. But JSU gave it right back with another fumble. This one recovered by TSU giving the Texans the ball at the JSU 33-yard line. <laughs> Jackson State almost took it right back when Hughes stepped in front of this pass, but he couldn't hang on. TSU used two running plays to take it to the JSU 12-yard line from there. Then the TSU Tigers went to the end zone, but a nice defensive play by Jemison kept TSU out of the end zone. After driving it to the Jackson State 5-yard line, J-State's defense held, forcing Texas Southern into a field goal try. Eric Medina's chip shot was good, and TSU had cut Jackson State's lead to 6-3. JSU had more trouble with the handoff as Ivy loses the ball again. JSU fumbled eight times midway through the third quarter and had to punt after five plays. The fumbleitis JSU had was contagious as TSU receiver Fred Plummer loses the ball after the catch and Jackson State recovers. Again, JSU was unable to capitalize as Ivy was sacked on first down for a seven-yard loss. Two plays later, Ivy went deep for Jarius Moore, but his pass was picked off at the three-yard line. The pass is intercepted. The JSU Tigers defense gave up one first down on that drive, which would give TSU breathing room. But on third and long, Preston Hughes applies the pressure and forces a bad throw to bring up fourth down. JSU was unable to do much with the great field position, which started at their own 43. As the rain began to come down, Jackson State continued to pile up the fumbles. 
Robert Johnson collides with his offensive lineman. The ball pops free, and TSU's Quentin Salisbury recovers for a 20-yard touchdown. TSU had taken his first lead at 10-6 with a minute 20 left in the third. The fourth quarter opened with JSU in the midst of a 13-play drive. Dan Williams' catch for a first down put JSU into TSU territory. Rob Johnson then took it to the TSU 7-yard line. But Ivy was sacked on back-to-back -back plays and Jackson State settled for another decent field goal. This one from 31 yards out as Jackson State closed the gap to one at 10 to nine with 11.06 left in the game. Texas Southern tried to respond, but Jackson State's defense was relentless. Check out the tackle by Henderson for a loss. One play later, Mario Small's pass is picked off by Jemison and he returned it to the Texas Southern 36. Jackson State's offense immediately went to work. Ivy directed a six-play drive to the Texas Southern 21-yard line. Robert Johnson took it inside the 10 to the TSU 5. Two plays later, Ivy rolled to his right and hit Jarus Mole in the end zone for the touchdown. After the failed two-point conversion, JSU's lead was 15-10 with six minutes to go. Needing a touchdown to take the lead, Texas Southern then began to march the ball down the field. Mario Smalls was able to take it to the JSU 43 with under two to play. Then facing fourth and three, TSU's Kendall Denson was stopped short of the first down marker by Preston Hughes and Sean Bishop with 92 seconds to go. And for the first time in six games, Jackson State was able to get into victory formation and the JSU Tigers ended a five-game losing streak with a 15-10 win. Coach Jackson, give us your thoughts on the game. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I'm proud of my guys. You know, they came out, they fought hard for this ball game. And we talked about it before we came back out here at halftime. We said, look here, we got them down a little bit, let's keep them down. You know, because normally when we come back out on the field, we kind of let up. But tonight, they didn't do that. You know, they came out and they played their hearts out. They wanted to win this ball game, and I'm glad for them, and uh, they worked for it. At halftime, we talked about how the team came out with a burst of energy in the first quarter, second quarter. There seemed to be a slight lull in the third quarter, but talk about the energy that the team had and how they were able to carry it through the game. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, they picked up that energy, you know, because they they seemed like we was trying to give it away, like we normally do, try to give the ball game away. And so some of the veterans stepped up to the place and look, this is one ball game we're not going to give up. We're going to go out here and play. We're going to keep the same energy that we had in the beginning of the ball game so we can come out and win this thing, you know, because like I said, it's a long ride back home, so we don't want to make this ride any longer than what it really going to be. Take us through the play that ended up being the game-winning touchdown throw from Ivy to Jerry Smoke. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, it was like almost like a rollout, and uh, he, all he's going to do is go and, and run to the corner there. And when Ivy, actually, he could have threw the ball a little sooner, but he ran with it a little longer than we anticipated, you know, but it was just almost like a rollout and just hit him in the corner of the flats. Were you, were, did, at any point, did you get fearful or nervous about how, when uh, Texas Southern took the lead, about how your team would respond? Well, I'll tell you what, I, was, I wasn't really nervous because I knew the guy was really up for this ball game. And uh, they, like they said, they kind of went down for a little bit and kind of let Texas Southern get back in it. But I didn't feel like we weren't going to lose the ball game. I feel like we were going to win the ball game all the time. So what are you going to say to them when you get in the locker room? Well, I'm going to just tell them, hey, they did exactly what we talked about. Go out and play hard and smart, and that's what we did. Uh, there was a couple of times that we didn't play smart enough, you know, but uh, we played smart enough to win the ball game. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you. What does it mean to be healthy? To create new traditions while honoring the old to inspire future generations both at work and at home. To find that work 
can also be play. To find that reaching a goal is not the end, but rather another step along the road. To remember that to give really is to receive, and to make choices today, keeping tomorrow in mind. Now's the time to know you have a partner on your journey with the compassion of a cross, the security of a shield, and the power of a card that opens doors to a healthier life. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. Live healthy. Live blue. It's good to be blue. Okay, now try and go to your happy place. Oh no, go to your happy place. Okay, going to my happy place. Oh, river walk, my happy place. Hey, sorry, dude. I kind of sat on your pizza. Uh, no. Go to your happy place. Go to your happy place. Ooh, Riverwalk. Now that's my happy place. Riverwalk Casino Hotel, Vicksburg's happy place. Must be 21 to gamble. I'm one. I'm one. We are one. One choice. One community. One family. All united by one university. Jackson State University. Jarius Moore, talk about this game and how excited you are to have a win. Oh, I'm really excited, man. We really needed this one. We've been through a lot this practice, bonding together as a team, and it paid off at the end. We come out with the victory today. Talk about that play that ended up being the game-winning touchdown throw from Ivy to you. Oh, I say uh, Ivy missed me on the pass early in the game, and we did a little arguing on the sideline. But we, we put the play behind. I went hug him. That more, I said, Ivy, you're going to hit me. We're going to be a big play. You're going to hit me. We're going to win this game. He was like, all right, blah, blah. We go back in the game. And he ended up hitting me for the game with a touchdown. That, that was an exciting feeling. That was great. That was great. Did it, at any point, did you get nervous when the team went down, uh, when Texas Southern took the lead? Were you ne nervous or fearful about how the team would respond? Oh, no. I don't think nobody was nervous because they couldn't stop us offensively the whole game. We were getting a red zone and not score. But we knew that they couldn't stop us. So nobody was nervous. We knew it was going to come out the win. All right, thanks a lot. Good luck. All right, thanks. Uh, it's just a hard fought battle on both sides of the ball. Both teams played hard. We both came in, and neither one of them wanted to uh, lose, but at the end, we ended up putting it off. How excited were you to see that game winning touchdown throw from Ivy the Mole that put the Tigers back on top and ended up winning the game? Uh, man, my mind, I'm like, okay, we back in it. Like, to see I, the way Ivy was playing today, you, the turnover really don't matter. Today he wanted it. Like, the only thing you got to have is pride, and today he had pride. And on that play, he could have been sacked or whatever, but he kept fighting. You just heard from Jackson State wide receiver Jaros Mole and JSU linebacker Javancy Jones as the Tigers now prepare to travel to Alcorn State to close out the season against the Braves. By the way, Alcorn, of course, is a SWAC East champs, so JSU, of course, will have its hands full. We'll have those highlights for you next week. Thanks for watching. Yeah! 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 Yeah!